right, welcome to Embedded Systems. For the next couple of minutes, I'm going to cover a concept of analog to digital conversion. So you, we have covered previously some concepts associated with it. Specifically, you have some sort of device, and nowadays this is housed within a microcontroller. This device takes a single voltage in, and from that, device, there will be a number of output lines. Let's say, for example, in this case, we're going to have eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our N, the number of uh, lines out from our analog to digital converter, will be N. And typically, we also have a a voltage plus reference and a voltage minus reference. This is the highest and the lowest voltage in the range of Vn that we're going to be measuring. So to make life really easy, we're going to assume for a lot of this that our zero voltage is going to be our minus voltage. So as you can imagine, we have n bits. So that means that this entire voltage in, whatever the range is, is going to be divided into how many possible digital values do you think can come out of there? All right. I think I gathered you meant uh, uh, 2 to the n possible values, right? And that will be from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. So that's a, a total of 256 possible values from 0 to 255. And the nice thing about this is that, of course, our VREF can be identified to whatever you want, but typically we're going to see that as the same voltage as our microcontroller. Now, how the conversion is done is uh, different uh, hardware inside depending on the manufacturer, but nonetheless, we have a formula that you can use that will identify what the value is going to be dependent on the VN. And so, what we're going to say is our output value N is going to be whatever the inter integer value is of Vn times 2 to the n minus 1 all over V plus ref. The plus 1 half is going to be added at the end because, in essence, our, uh, our operation where we add half and then take the integer of that value is pretty much just rounding the value. So let's take a good example. And as an example, we're going to keep our eye on that formula again. Let us look at what if our A to D converter has 10 bits and our V plus reference is 3.3 volts and our V is going to be equal to 1.2 volts. So as this example, our N is going to be equal to the integer Vn times, what is this value? All right. 1023, our, uh, our V plus ref 
is going to three, be 3.3 3 volts and oh by the way VN is going to be 1.2 volts. We're going to add one half to that and take the integer. This is when I pull out my calculator. Should have probably done this beforehand. Simply put 1.2 times 1023 divided by 3.3 is equal, equal to exactly 372. But we still have plus one. I believe I got that number right. That should be about right. So even though we're going to end up with uh, 372.5, take the integer, our final answer is going to be 372. Now remember um, when I uh, discussed this in class uh, previously, I said mm, you just make sure that it's in the right range. Well, I already know that my range is going to be 0 to 1,023, correct? And so 1.2 is going to be much, it's going to be somewhat less than half. Half would have been 512. So the number 372 looks to be about right. So let's do another example. So, yes, sir. Uh, we added a half. So it became 372.5. Ah, so if you added a half, this would have been equivalent to integer 372.5. And again, the operation of take the integer of 372.5 means you take 372 because we're taking the integer part of that. Well, don't forget, that is rounding. As I said earlier, by adding one half and then taking the integer of the result is called rounding. All right? So, in fact, let's take a look at a, another example. And this one I'll, I'll make you work on. And let's say we have a uh, A to D converter which has... Five volts. Which so I now will ask you to go ahead and spend a couple of minutes at doing this. While we do this, we'll uh, pause the camera for a bit and come back to it in a second. All right, welcome back. Hopefully, you pause this recording uh, to take a look at what it is, and so. Let me uh, take this off of freeze and we could look at what my uh, calculation was. And my calculation again, looking at our formula, is doing the math 229.5 plus one half, which is two, uh, 230. We're taking the integer of that. There you go, the answer is 230. And to answer the gentleman's question over there, yep, that, there it is. There is the operation where we round it. And also, does it make sense? Well, if our maximum value is 255 and our VN is very, very close, then the answer 230 looks pretty reasonable. Correct? Now, this is a variation of the full formula, and so let me show you what the full formula is. And the full formula is going to be N is equal to VN minus V minus ref times 2 to the N minus 1 all over V plus ref 
minus V minus ref. Again, adding one half and taking the integer, that's the, uh, in essence, uh, that is rounding. And so this formula takes into account that sometimes your V minus ref, the lowest voltage which you could record, may not necessarily be zero volts. And so at this point, let's take another problem. And in this case, I'm going to have N is equal to 12. I'm going to have Vn is equal to uh, 8.7 volts. Our V plus ref is going to be equal to 12 volts. And our V minus ref is going to equal to minus 12 volts. So now go ahead and go through the problem and determine what this answer is. All right, we are recording. Uh, for those of you who are watching the, the film of this, we had a technical difficulty with the last minute of the film, so I'm going to have to record this. So yes, my appearance has changed. I have different clothing and uh, a beard now. And uh, there are the same people are not going to be in the front seat. So I uh, wanted to fill in or finish up with this particular problem. This was the full uh, analog to digital conversion uh, calculation. Remember that we started with V in minus uh, V minus ref. That uh, was then multiplied by 2n minus 1 over V plus ref minus V minus ref. Now again, 12 bits. So you would expect that the maximum value of this would be what? All right, I hear rabbit, 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 but the maximum would be this number right here, 4,095, right? Well, remember, we're uh, 2n minus 1. So uh, 4,095, there are a total of 4,096 different values that it could have. And then further, if we take a look at what is the range, the range is actually 24 volts. And it's 8.7 volts is towards the higher end of 12 volts. So you would expect the final answer to be pretty darn close to this 4,095. And, and, and hence, uh, when we did the calculation, uh, keeping in mind that our uh, V plus ref minus V minus ref turns out to be 24 volts. The uh, um, scaling of this such that uh, uh, we're comparing what will be our, our final digital number uh, and our step right here with the, uh, with the rounding aspect, the integer plus the one half. So if you look at this, we add one half, it'll be 3532.4375, but we're taking the integer. This is just rounding, all right? So our final answer, 3532. Uh, and since this is a 12-bit 12 uh, uh, 12 number, then you would expect it to, uh, of course, have a very large number, one something, 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 something. This would be all. All right. And that is all I have for analog to digital conversion. Thank you.